Okay, this video is going over the sheepskin effect, and in particular, this is looking at the question, why do people earn more if they have a college degree? And there's really two competing schools of thought on this, and probably both of them are at play. One is that a college degree is simply a signaling mechanism. In other words, there are types of people who are hardworking and they enjoy work, they, they follow through, they're consistent, and that's just a built-in uh, feature of their personality. And people in this camp say that the college degree simply sorts out people who are hardworking from people who are less hardworking or for whom um, it's, it's harder to follow through, in which case there's no value added from all of the classes you take. It's, college is really just this huge effort cost that helps you to signal what type of person you are. Um, and of course, college professors like me don't like that answer. We like the other school of thought, which is that there's actual value added from you taking courses. You learn skills, you learn critical thinking, you learn how to be adaptable and how to, um, uh, how to think in different schools of thought, how to learn on the job. You learn a lot of things as you go to college, in which case this school of thought says the main reason people with a college degree earn more is that they've gained skills at college that come in useful in the workforce. Now, the sheepskin effect is looking at this graph, which is graphing years of education against a person's salary across many different people. And of course, the more years of education you have, the, the higher your salary. However, if you look at the graph, there's a bit of a discontinuity at the point where you get your actual degree. Um, so 12 years of education, you get your high school degree, 16 years, you get your college degree, and of course, historically, there were times when these degrees were printed on sheepskin, hence the name the sheepskin effect. And what we find is that if you have all of your college degree done, like 15 years and 9 months of education, but you don't actually have that degree in your hand, you, you earn significantly less than someone who has that degree in their hand. And of course, it cannot be the case that most of your college education has one marginal benefit per class you take and suddenly the last course you take in college has a huge impact on your, um, your skills. And so that indicates whatever jump we get from 15 years and, and 9 months of education to 16 years where you actually have your college degree, that jump is almost certainly not due to the value added effect. It's not due to the fact that the very last course you take happens to be more beneficial to your skills. This is likely due to some kind of signaling effect. Um, whereas the, the difference between 13 years and 14 years of education, that um, is more likely to be due to the value added. So if you look at this graph, some people might say that there's a signaling effect, um, which I'll label in green, which is probably at play in the fact that there's a sudden jump in salary before versus after you get that degree. So in which case, looking at this graph, the difference between um, 13 years and 14 years, that difference is much more likely due to the actual learning that happens on campus, the value added by the education itself. So you could interpret it as the slope of this graph is likely due to the value added effect, whereas the sudden jump on attaining your degree is more likely due to a signaling effect. Now, this is a way oversimplification of this particular issue. Economists have studied this in many different studies, looking at it different ways. This is not the final word on things, but this is just one way of thinking about the two different ways that college degrees could add to a person's salary. One is that it, it marks you as a certain type of person and you would be that type of person whether or not you got that education. This is just how you prove that you're that type. That's the signaling effect. And the other is that the actual experience of going to college classes and have, having someone invest in your critical thinking and giving you feedback on your writing, um, all of that adds up to actual skills that can be applied on the job that have value in terms of your salary. So that's the sheepskin effect.